we're at a location that we were at, oh, maybe, oh, a year ago, two years ago. That's the old location. It's called the Hoppy Gnome. You know, and when you think of the gnomes, have you ever seen a not happy gnome? Well, they've kind of borrowed the phrase a little bit. And so because of their success, now it's because of the beer is what I'm told, because it's not a fancy restaurant at all. They serve good beer is what we've been told. We've been here years ago and they serve good beer. I wonder as they've expanded if they still do. But we're gonna find out right now because our next stop is the tap room and beer garden of the Hoppy Known in Wichita, Kansas. Let's go see. Alright, Hoppy Gnome, Wichita. And walking in, I mean, look at it. It's so cool in here, man. I love the openness of it. I love the, uh, you know, beer hall vibes of just everything being open and everyone sitting, you know, in an open area. And they've got little corners and little pockets and things, which I think is cool if you want, you know, to be alone or have a little conversation or whatever. And then you see they got some packaging, some package stuff to go. And then they've got merch. Really cool shirts, by the way. And their prices are good. I mean, you know, all their stuff is priced affordably. And they got a whole different variety of glasses and shirts and all that kind of stuff. And once again, I mean, the place inside is spacious and big. And, you know, I'm sure those garage doors open up and they can keep all of that open, have that open air uh, coming in. This patio, this patio is really nice. Uh, once again, I like the openness of it and people not closed off. And this little grass area is awesome and these backyard games. And so no, man, this patio is really comfortable. The vibe here is great. And look, I just can't wait to try their beers because the last time we were here, I know that I loved almost every one of them. So here we go, Hoppy Gnome in Wichita. Good, yeah. Here we are. We've What's moved. Up? We've moved to the patio, and so far, I'm falling in love with this place. Uh, we're located. I mean, no. Yeah, and we're located like in a residential neighborhood. I mean, not really residential. We're just off Douglas Avenue, which is one of the main streets in Wichita. But it's got a great vibe, man. I mean, you can hear the crickets, or I mean, there's not the centipedes or whatever they call That's themselves. That's so far, right? Yeah. So far, this atmosphere. I feel. Out oh, of yeah. All the breweries yeah. we've been to. Maybe uh, Central si Standard is, which is. Are, are we comparing? Like right over there. Are we right? comparing Wichita or are we comparing? Wichita. Okay. Let's, let's just talk By Wichita. Far. No, Wichita. We, yeah, now, you got to talk about Now, Ambiance Outdoors, I mean, Norton's is going to take it because they've got this unbelievable presence out there. But, you know, they don't serve food here, guys. This, I mean, maybe there's a food truck or maybe there's some you know, finger food in there, but this is, they're here because of their beer. Yep. And we told you earlier that we, we, we started, they, they used to be in a very small lo location that they maybe had four tables and now they've, they've expanded in just a matter of maybe eight months to a location that is really cool. Yeah, no, this is a really, really <coughs> nice spot. Really good. So we got four. We got four their beers. <coughs> The first one is their flagship Wichita IPA. Um, <clears throat> I got to tell you, I very rarely do I see an IPA as as um, as clear as this one. Light, light. And so, as you've noticed, <laughs> one of the beer guys' mics wasn't working. So great, right? Hey guys, we just have done four samples here at Hoppy Gnome, and uh, uh, unfortunately, we we had some issues. We had some mic issues with this mic. 
Um, but we also had some beer issues. Um, For real. First, first of all, I got to tell you something. This this is what they call a pilsner. Uh, they're pilsner. It looks like lemonade. Uh, it's not very good. Uh, in fact, when I first took my first gulp, and I'll do it again, it feels like I'm I'm swallowing snot. Ugh. Um, and I, I'm the worst one. The, the, when you've got the sinus infection and you get all that out and you go swallow it, that's not a very good pilsner. And but you can see it right there. It looks it looks like lemonade. We had an IPA. Look at this IPA. This is their flagship IPA. It looks very similar to that other one. I've never <laughs> seen an IPA that looks so. I mean, this looks like watered down. It was bad, y'all. Y'all, it was we, bad. We tried it and tried, uh, wanted it to be so good. good because this whole vibe, everything about this place we is love cool. It. You look at it, you pull up. This, everything about this place is cool. The neighborhood is safe. But oh, we went to the Sizon, which is the farmhouse ale, and of course we compare this to what we call the best in the business, and that is Tank. I mean, uh, you know, that's that's Tank Seven out of Boulevard. We also love the Spotted Cow out of Wisconsin, and, and the Farm Girl out of Stillwater, Minnesota. This this doesn't. It's, it's not going to be right there. But it's very, but it's a it's very, not, very acceptable farmhouse ale. Yeah, it's not like no, ugh. it's it's not bad at all. No. So again, they make a they make a, a an adequate farmhouse ale, and then the other one was the bartender's favorite because he said this is their best beer, and it's the amber ale, which is a comparison to, of course, Fat Tire is what our our you know the number one uh, brand that that you know we have we we have talked about before, kind of the comparison one. Kind of the one that set the standards. Um, you said Free State had a Free good State amber ale. Astra. That was the horse they rode into. That's their first beer. Oh, that's the first craft beer that has been made in the state of Kansas. Was with, uh, with an amber Astra. ale, really amber ale. Wow. And again, because of the Colorado it's, connection and and what they do, and it's really good. It really is. It's comparable. It's good. Um, and uh, highly recommended. So, um, I, I guess uh, pills. Uh, please, whatever you do. It's called the three putt. It's yeah, it is called a three putt. And I'll tell you something. I wouldn't. I I wouldn't even putt if I. I mean, because I would be so gagged up. That, yeah. Um, this amber ale was sepia. Yeah. The uh, size on was yeah. steampunk, and then the IPA was Wichita IPA, and it was. I nine. I told I told the bartender. I said, "Why do you call it a three putt?" I said, "Man, the only time I three putt is when I've had a great beer and I'm drinking the hell out of it." And he said, "Well." Let me tell you something. You would not. I mean, oh my nice God. here. All the service don't even, was don't nice. Even Everything no, oh, was nice. Service is great. Their yep. t-shirts, like we said, a little pricey. I would have bought one if they were twenty bucks, but they were twenty-five dollars, and so um, yep. that's a little high. But no, it's it's a great place. Um, don't get the pilsner. <clears throat> yeah. Out.